Boom. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Live Connection podcast. Uh, we've implemented some high tech COVID procedures to keep us safe and you safe from us what? as we are finally back at Peter's house uh, in person. Oh, it's Peter's house now? I thought it was the LC house. Peter's live connection house. We're back. We're here together to discuss all things game related and more. And more. Uh, dis discuss all things. Oh, Are man, you going to say who's on the podcast today? Because they can't see us with our high tech safety <laughs> precautions. I'm. Uh, my name is Evan. This is Graydon. There's Jack, and behind the computer there is Mr. Peter himself. <laughs> yeah, the <clears throat> computer there. Mm -hmm. So I guess what do we want to talk about first, boys? Like oh, we got. The, I would. Uh, I would like to lead off just with a real quick tangent and say, Evan, when did you get such a hairy chest? When did I get such a Yeah, because I saw you walking down. You had like the top button uh, down, and I was like, oh my. I've had a hairy chest yeah. since grade 10. He's really? always had a hairy chest. Wow, yeah. I just never really noticed. Oh, wait, it only started coming in in grade 10 when the, we got the hairy chest? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. You just, it's <laughs> you just like an arbitrary year. It's well, like I know sweat. It was when I was younger. Like, it's not like last year all of a sudden <laughs> I was like, oh, my first chest hair. <laughs> like, oh my was God. Like, boom. I swear, you know? I used to remember. Like, you had like the little, like, like little like between the packs, he had like a little bit of a, a patch there. But now, are I you thinking of me? A really that weird like, things boom. to remember so I, vividly. Listen, I don't even I've remember all, having a little patch. I've always, I've always like been aware because I've always Connor, been aware of what my friend <laughs> chest looks like. <laughs> yeah, because our, our mutual friend Connor used to point out mine all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like I would always be conscious of it ever since because of that. Oh, Graydon, you're like the hairiest person I know. Yeah, <laughs> you have, you have, like I've got a lot of body hair. Like underneath that shirt, you have an insane <laughs> amount of body hair. Yeah, you're like true. Sasquatch. I don't know why you're wearing a shirt. You don't even know. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, society. But anyway, yeah, the Xbox Game Studio. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't watch anything from it. I uh, watched the first half. I was really there for Halo, uh, and it looks good. I'm excited for it. They uh, they're bringing back the Banished from Halo Two into the new game, uh, which is something people are wanting because the Banished was a pretty cool enemy in Halo Two. And people just hate the uh, the Promethean Knights mm -hmm. with a, with a passion. So it's nice to see that they're bringing in a different enemy. It seems like we've reached a time skip again. Uh, I guess yeah, because there was no there was no time skip between Halo Two and Three. But it seems like we've missed like five six years. It yeah. Seems like we missed an entire war between the Banished and the UNSC, which they lost, and then Chief was found in space by that guy with the beard and now they're best friends so i don't really know what's going on i don't know if they're just like soft rebooting halo now because they didn't like the way they were going with the last storyline with cortana and having everything the start of the next 10 years of halo Ooh, oh that's a lot of years you know, I specifically said in the discord too like that it looks good and it looks like it's going to be a proper like hopefully final entry into the halo series but nah we got another decade <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hell yeah can't wait for halo 73 and there's a grappling hook now yeah you know how everyone loves grappling hooks hey i think it looked pretty sweet the gameplay looked really clean i thought i thought it looked pretty like classic halo mm. some people are complaining like oh why do they have to like go nostalgia factor on us it's like you guys were freaking pissed off that the design was so complex in the last two games you wanted them to simplify it again and they have simplified the graphics and the design of all the different structures and the game itself so i don't know what people want people just want to hate things so it doesn't really matter what comes out as long as it's a good game at release really can't uh can't expect too much help. yeah really I mean, I'll yeah. play it. I, I kind of Halo Five really kind of took me out of the series. Yeah, and Halo Four to an extent, but uh, still fun games to play, and I'm curious. I mean, Halo Five had a pretty decent multiplayer. I mean, it, none of these multiplayers have had the longevity that like the classic Halo multiplayers had. Yeah, the, the Halo Five. I was so disappointed with the Halo Five campaign that I didn't play a single match of multiplayer. Wow. I boycotted the game. So you bought the game, I, and then you hated it so much <laughs> that you were like, that's just... 
That's I don't it. know, eighty dollars. I got it as I don't a remember. was it eighty dollars back then? I got it as a gift, or, like wow. a while after it came out, but you guys were still playing the multiplayer, and I quietly just played the campaign and then just moved on with my life. Let's not, let's not say you guys. I haven't touched a Halo game well, since. Well, Evan <laughs> and Eric and I can't remember. I know those two for sure. Don't There'd don't lump me in with those degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, Halo multiplayer was was okay. It uh, it was a little weird. Like with the whole like they kind of did their own spin on kill streaks, and then there's mm. this whole attrition card system that I don't think really worked too well. Mm. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what I want to see. I've been thinking about doing a video on what I want to see from Halo Infinite, but I don't know what I want to see yet. Yeah. Yep. So, do you think we'll ever get the golden days of Halo Forge back? Like Oof. Halo Three Forge? Those that, that was the best. That was pretty good. But I don't know if it's gonna happen. I, I don't I, know. I think they tried to bring it back a couple times, and all those attempts failed. So honestly, I'm saying rest in peace, it, Forge. It was, it, was, it was good in Reach. They Forge was still good in Reach. Yeah, Forge but, was great in Reach. But after that, I want to say. I think. There's still a lot of good maps out there, and I think we're a little bit biased towards our time when Halo 3. But, like, how much time have we actually... We, like, the reason why we played so much Forge and enjoyed those multiplayer settings was, one, we had a huge group of people playing the game, and two, we played so much of the game that we would actually get bored of multiplayer and then just spend all evening in custom games, which is where we found all these different unique games and did it. We didn't play enough of Halo 4 or 5 to even begin to get into the custom games realm I don't so know. who knows there's probably really good <clears throat> custom games out there that people who really like the game i don't love. think we were the only ones though i think it's like declined in halo 4 i don't think people made those maps as much because they weren't like halo reach as jack was saying that was i think the last i don't know the peak of creativity and forge and <laughs> custom maps and... <laughs> well maybe if, if if that was the case i would boil it down to that Forge was more accessible to people back in Halo 3. It was complex enough, but still dumbed down, where, like, you could do simple things, and if you wanted to get complex, you could look up something and, like, kind of glitch things out to, like, forge things together. Like, there was something where mm -hmm. you could fuse items by having them, placing them all, and then having them have different spawn times, and then restart the, the map, and then they all, like, go, and they all just forge together like that. But in the new games, like, I even tried to go into Forge in Halo 4 and 5, and, like, it almost is, it's just too complex. Mm -hmm. It's like a learning curve, and, like, mm. you don't want a learning curve or something like that. I don't want to learn my video games. It's yeah. so true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Halo, well, all well and good. There's a lot of other cool stuff in this um, Xbox, whatever it was told. One thing I was interested in is uh, Obsidian's. <laughs> One of, one of Obsidian's next titles. Is this the one that they revealed? Yeah. It's just so it's like a Skyrim type DLEO then. Yeah. So, because they made uh, Fallout New Vegas and stuff. They made Outer Worlds. Yeah. They've made. Uh, they have a good track record. Oh, that game coming out on Friday. The small, the Honey the, I Shrunk the, the Kids game. The, oh, Grounded? Grounded. Yeah, they made that too. So I'm I'm super interested to see they're what doing, this will look like. They're doing good. They're like uh they're like like uh Bethesda's like the dad who had the son Obsidian and then Obsidian started just being better at everything the dad <laughs> thought he was good at and now the dad just like it spite like hates the kid. Then Microsoft hired the son. Yeah. Now dad's just living <laughs> dad's in the trailer park. It's <laughs> <laughs> it. not good future is now old man <laughs> you should be proud are you winning son yes dad. <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> uh, what is so this is what it what like when did they reveal this did they release this at the uh, this, xbox I, i'm pretty sure it was three days ago so hit that trailer button yeah i, I kind of want to watch it see a some bit. gameplay yeah i didn't watch this i didn't watch anything except the halo trailer oh yeah no i instantly we remember this it looks cool known. War. Oh, and the, our viewers have to watch it on the tiny screen. It's yeah, full screen. Can't That's always good. That, Peter? I want to try to uh, avoid copyright. Oh, I see. It flew. All right, I did see the arrows flying through the air. Yeah, arrow from, uh, simulator twin from Eric's snapshot. Yeah, this is the the best arrow shot of all time. This is. 
Dude, this is like a cross map throwing knife. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. Dude, that guy literally burst into <laughs> his skeleton now. I think that was just a skeleton. Oh, was it? Forsaken. So imagine having the greatest shot of all time and all you do is kill a skeleton. <laughs> like you literally just punch it and it falls to pieces. No, oh, that was interesting. I don't this does like a porn. Is an oath worth the weight of a crown? <clears throat> oh, it's set in the same world as Pillars of Eternity. What's Pillars of Eternity? It's like a it's like a top down RPG I think. Oh, I d I've heard of it, but yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, I mean, for a cinematic trailer, like I'm intrigued by the whatever they're trying to go for. But I mean, I'll try it when it goes on Game Pass. Yeah, I mean, all these are going on Game Pass. That's actually sweet that they are going on Game Pass. I uh, I got down and or broke down and got the Game Pass Ultimate the other day. You haven't had it. No, I just haven't had Game Pass for the last bit, and then I had Eric gave me a Game Pass regular for my birthday last year, and then I only just uh, used it like four months ago. Mm -hmm. And then now we, you guys have been playing Dead by Daylight, and you know Minecraft Dungeons came out, so I was just like, even though I haven't even freaking played it yet, but my desire to play it has now gone to zero, even though I was excited for oh, it. Oh, man. Well, when um, you do, let me know, because there's a few achievements I need. Okay. Yeah, I, it's uh, so I'm excited for all this new stuff, especially if I get to play on some of it on my PC or something. It's uh, it's incredible. Like it, it's something that I think will win Microsoft the new console war. I agree. I really do. I've been seeing stuff that like the console war is dead. Yeah, like you, basically is. You can't really call it a console war anymore because they're giving you completely different services for mm -hmm. like they're they're delivering games to you in different ways. Mm -hmm. Like PlayStation is kind of going like the more tr traditional route, but also they're sending you like these big triple title games that are actually like well developed and everything. That's like their forte. And Xbox is like, we don't care. This is like the Netflix of gaming. If you want to play a lot of games fast and hard, come to Xbox. PlayStation's more about the stories. <clears throat> PlayStation's the HBO. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox is the Netflix. It's like live PD where it's just yeah. tons and tons and tons of content. Yeah, and then Nintendo is just in a realm of its own. Like That's just coming up with like innovative Man. video games like they always have. And Paper Mario fun. just came out. Yeah, they, they're... Yeah, they're doing lots of good stuff. Like, However, they are also like twenty years behind in the sense of their online capability. Yeah, but I think that's just because they don't really give a damn about online. But that's upsetting. They can't just they now they're charging for it. I think that's where my biggest problem comes in. When it was free, fine, I I'll, I'll, I can tolerate the online systems being not the best. But when I'm paying for the service, come on, dude, I expect a little bit more. So yeah. don't pay for the service. Yeah. They, that's the nail in the you coffin right there. <laughs> like, yeah, you, it's hard to get away from it some, with some games. Like, like, I mean, if you own Super Mario Maker, you're, you, there's no point in owning that game. Yeah. You're not going to have an online yeah. subscription. Um, I mean, even things like Pokemon, like, you need it if you're going to want to do anything online. Like, a lot of games, even Animal Crossing, if you want to visit people's islands. I don't know. If you want to get more out of the game, you kind of need online mm. which is kind of disappointing because the online is a pretty lackluster so why wouldn't it just be free yeah but as we've fucking seen nintendo can do whatever they want without repercussion basically yeah so it doesn't matter like like they don't care they're they're in it for the money and you know it's a to get what they want out of it and they always will. Yeah, I was about to say. No one's going to put their foot ugh. down against Nintendo. No. There's the too many. They come down hard I think on that other Joy Con companies. thing was a pretty good victory for the <clears throat> consumer against Nintendo. Yeah, it was like a partial victory. Well, I mean, if you send it, if you have in draft, you can send it in and get it back. In a year. Which is, I've heard some people are getting them back pretty fast, actually. I think that's not commonplace anymore. Mm. Well, Whatever. I don't believe, to be honest. There's a <laughs> we can make a video on it. My Joy-Con is drifting. We can send mine in. Yeah, that's actually... See, uh, see how long it actually takes. Day 36. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> What's the content of the video going to be? Are we all going to be here at the house? And like, here we are packaging up Evan's Joy-Cons. <laughs> yeah, into, we could. Into a safe 
mail friendly service. Yeah. Here we all are walking <laughs> to the post office or walking to the nearest mailbox. Evan, I think that's great. All content. right, yeah. Evan Here can check his mailbox every day. Yeah, and he'll get more and more disappointed we'll over time. Um, I'll just turn to Evan and say, "Hey, have you gotten it yet?" Be like, "No, not yet. No, Still okay. waiting." <laughs> and but, that'll it'll be like day three. It'll be that's great content, I think, because then like if it takes a week, then it looks good. If it takes like two months or a year, then it's like <laughs> almost becomes a meme, you know? Then that's a hell like, of a video. Where is Evan's Joy-Con, dude? Where's my Joy-Con? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Hellblade Two was announced. I'm super excited for that. I just recently played the original or the first one, Mwah. which was really Mwah. good. What is that series all about? It's um, man, I'm. Gonna, it's hard. It, You're a lady who wears makeup and looks really angry. Yeah, you you have oh. you have like psychosis, so oh. you have all these like voices in your head telling you you can't do this. Yeah, this is yeah. not a good thing, and uh, and you keep doing it, and like it it's. It goes through like Norse mythology in a sense, where you're going to uh, to Hela to try mm. to get your husband back. Right. It's a really cool game. The that sound design. Announced. That wasn't announced this week. That was announced yeah, was a while ago. A while ago. Oh. I think they gave it yeah. the release date this week. Yeah, they gave a cinematic trailer when we were watching some sort of conference on this couch not too long ago, or maybe it was last year. I think it was last time. year already. Fuck. Was it when we watched the video game awards on stream? Yes, that's when it was. Yeah, so it would have been that. like November or something, right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. But yeah, you were saying, Peter, sorry, I cut you off. I was just saying, like, this the sound design in the game is what really sold me on it. It really did a good job of conveying the psychosis and what that may feel like. Is it like you need to this have game headphones makes on? You feel like you have yeah, psychosis. Yeah, it was spooky. You absolutely need to play that game with headphones oh, on. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, no, it's not a podcast. Like, you're in that game to experience. Mm -hmm. It is really good. You lose all the value without headphones, I'd yeah. say. You know, it's kind of like that uh, Deliver Us the Moon. I, I just finished it uh, on Friday night, uh, late, late at night. And God, that game. I don't know. For a walking simulator, it was pretty uh, engaging. Like, I really liked it. And honestly, like, the best way to experience is just put some headphones on, put it on blast, and just turn off everything in the room and just like be in the dark and play it's pretty pretty cool mm -hmm. interesting i was watching uh the stream markers you put i had a good chuckle when you scared yourself with that suit yeah dude well the whole, i i was expecting this game to be like have a jump scare at some point the whole time so i was just like fuck fuck and then i saw it and i was like oh god it's that guy <laughs> <laughs> he's here <laughs> just a space suit just chilling yeah <laughs> Uh, it's a good it's a good game pretty pretty good did they uh what else did they show for the uh this uh the medium which is like oh. that uh in or out, like it's a in between game. world yeah. horror game oh yeah, yeah which looked really interesting honestly i didn't even really see the trailer for that is that a long trailer pull it up i'm i actually you know what i honestly didn't watch it either what's it it's called again medium the medium or something just medium oh um, Right, the medium. That's like an NBC show. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I searched the medium first, and I saw my result. Then I just searched medium, and it didn't come up. Oh. Oh. So you know. <laughs> well, fuck me. I'm sorry. I didn't name the game. Oh. 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 What's going on here? Peter? There we go. It's Thank rated you. M, guys. So. Uh -oh. uh, I Uses of tobacco. Oh God, I hate that kills use people. Of tobacco. Blooper team. Is this a video game trailer? <laughs> 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 yep. Mm. Butterfly effect until dawn. Part two. <laughs> oh. Did not end well. That was a poor choice. I tried to cut myself off, but the voices, they just wouldn't stop calling out to me. Why'd it that dumbass moth fly right dead through dead that fire? Because it likes fire. It likes light. A forest. The moon, scent of pines, and then the gunshot. Every story has two sides, a regular, rational one, but also a darker and deeper truth. The upside down. Not unlike a nightmare. I can see both. 
worse. I can live with them. So what does her having to experience literal hell Hello? do with solving a murder of a girl there? getting shot in the back of the head? I don't. I don't know. I can pretend to know the story. <laughs> <laughs> but look, you you be in two different place? worlds. It makes you feel like you're grasping at straws. <laughs> you know what? This is just. This is just copying Mario and Luigi RPG games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised video game journalists aren't saying that. I uh. I want to hear your reasoning. Ew. Oh, that's pretty gross looking. Oh, that mm -hmm. is kind of weird. It okay. looks cool, though. So I have a feeling that the doc girl is not really going to play into the story too much, other than just, like, be the, uh... What is it? Is, is the MacGuffin the thing that, like, gets the story going, technically? The MacGuffin is a thing that has no importance to the actual plot, but, you know, you're trying to find it for whatever reason. Okay, like, I think doc yeah. girl is going to be the MacGuffin. The gotcha. murder of the doc girl. Okay. Evans cracked the lid on the case, everyone. I think I, I feel like the the guy and the girl on the dock are kind of the least important parts of this trailer. Like you might be that might not even that might have just been like you A know backstory or something. <laughs> or even like it's not going to play into the game at all. It's just like well, let's put this in the cinematic trailer for fun. That's true. I'm just to fuck with people. Control yeah. the left screen with A and the right screen with B. Mario and Luigi. Superstar Saga 2. With A and B. The medium. Oh, that looks good. I'm excited for that. It looks interesting. Maybe it'll be just like Bleeding Edge where Evan was like, yeah, I really enjoyed this game, but I'm never playing it again. <laughs> <laughs> but it has uses of tobacco. Ooh. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, I yeah. saw that in that cinematic trailer. Sent mm. chills down my spine. Yeah. To be honest. You know, I was thinking about that, the, like, uh, when I was talking about Deliver Us the Moon, I remembered now that when I was playing it, I got heavy, heavy vibes of, like, Beyond Good and Evil and what that game was like. If you guys have never played it, it's on the Xbox Store. It's actually a really good game. You should try it out. But uh, then I thought, where the fuck is Beyond Good and Evil 2? Because <laughs> that was announced, like, years ago at this point, that wasn't was it? Years and years ago. And then, like, we saw something about it, I think, two years ago at E3. And now it's just like, they just like, it's it's like Voldemort. You just mm. don't say it. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't say anything about it. Did uh, did it send chills down your spine as well? It did send chills down my spine. Would you say you've got chills? Or would you say they're that multiplying? they're multiplying? <laughs> <laughs> Not listening. And I'm losing Not listening. control, cause the power you're supplying. It's electrifying. I hope we get copyrighted by that. <laughs> I genuinely hope we do. Um, oh. What about Tetris, Peter? Are you excited for that? I don't care for Tetris. There's a new Tetris game? <laughs> if I can play it with my freaking Xbox controller, which has a D-pad, then yes, I'll play it. Yeah. Wow, this, that put Peter off Tetris just in general? That well, because I know that's what he... Did you, hear, did you hear Graydon's tone? That's what he was referring to. That's what he course, wanted. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, that was the tone. But have you played Tetris be like since that day? No. No, <laughs> no, I don't think I have. I had it. I had it on my phone prior. Well, I, think, I think you did because immediately after, or wait, maybe I mean same day, but like not very long after, you were like, I had to play on my computer or something just to show that I was. Still oh, you know what? Oh, that yeah, yeah. that does sound right. That does sound right. So actually, you know, on that note, Peter, I noticed that my note is still uh, out on your uh, your wall there outside. It's getting a little bit faded, a little bit weather worn, but it was still there. <laughs> yeah, Some like, scars don't heal. It's coming back to an old friend Same after all this the, time. The market mall uh, graffiti. Out yeah, there. yeah, I was looking at that. That's pretty much just a, a smudge at this point, though. Mm -hmm. I can still read it. Uh, Warhammer 40,000 Darkseid. 
That was the one with the four soldiers going down into like a high vest. It looks like a Left 4 Dead kind of thing. Yeah. That looked kind of neat. Oh, isn't Warhammer that like rat safari game? Yeah, well, War that's Warhammer Vermintide. Oh, okay. Because it's based on the, um, uh, like the the miniature game. Yeah, called, yeah. Called Warhammer, oh, right. where you like paint a bunch of little dudes and fight other people's little dudes. Mm. Yeah, fans of Warhammer are crazy. There's like 40 years worth of lore, and there's different styles because there's fantasy Warhammer and like Space Marines Warhammer or 40k, as it's called. So, yeah, and they've got a lot of video games for the Warhammer series as well. So those miniatures are like mad expensive, aren't they? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a it's a stupid hobby to get into. Mm -hmm. it's just like, a hole, yeah. just burns a hole in your wallet. Yeah. You know what? Like everything we do. Really. You want to know what else burns a hole in your wallet? What's what? that? GTA Online or Rockstar? It has done that for Rockstar at least, and now it looks like we're getting an entirely new map, guys. What? Whoa! Apparently, because they said they're 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 not gonna let it die. They're I wish they would. And then, like meanwhile, on the other side of the Rockstar coin. People have been protesting in Red yes. Dead 2 to yes. get an update. <laughs> and it finally worked. Clown protest? Every, what was this? Everyone <laughs> dressed up as clowns. <laughs> Red Dead Online dressed their character up like clowns. <laughs> to protest the lack of updates. Wow. <laughs> You know what? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And yeah, they haven't been updating it at all, have no, they? No, no. It doesn't get anything. It's just... It, I, that's why when I saw that GTA Online was getting like, a new map, supposedly, I was like, are you kidding me, guys? Like, they're supporting a game that probably, yes, pays for everyone's mansion at Rockstar. <laughs> except not. Just the, the people up top. But... They're, uh, yes, the day they're we making a shit to ton of money them. off of this game, and they're spending all their resources on it too. And then here's Red Dead Two, just with look, look at this passionate community <laughs> here. They deserve there's something, a, Rockstar. There's almost 17 people online. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is pretty hilarious. That's pretty good, actually. I mean, it. Yeah, you, you got to feel bad for these people because you know Red Dead is such a great game. Mm -hmm. and there's just so much potential there. And it does seem like, you know, it just doesn't get anything that, you know, um, raw, or, um, GTA gets. And that's sad, but, you know. Rockstar is just, like, not really, never really like, lands, like, comes in for a good landing when it comes to their multiplayer. No. Like, I remember GTA Five at the very beginning. Like, oh, it, was it was brutal. Rough. It was rough. Oh, is that I remember, awful? I remember doing that like intro cutscene where you meet your cousin in the car and he picks you up from the airport and then you drive for five minutes. I had to do that like five times before it finally let me play online mm. because it just kept like glitching out and kicking me out. It was brutal. And those sweet, sweet loading screens where you're like, I wonder if it's working. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not uh, not to get too far away from this, but just real quick. I was uh, I saw on the news the other day. There's some obviously a few protests going on in the states right now, um, and there was one going on in Portland where they deployed tear gas to the crowds, but the crowds fought back. And you want to know how? Well, there was that naked woman. There was that. There were leaf blowers. <laughs> they blew oh. the smoke back into the. <laughs> <laughs> Did, didn't that work? Yeah. Oh, and that's all, awesome. And all I could think of was modern problems require <laughs> modern solution. <laughs> <laughs> like that's brilliant. Well done, protest. What if? Okay, but what about the clown protests? I don't know. I don't know but, about them. Man, what would you do if there was just an angry mob of clowns like protesting <laughs> in your streets? I would stay home. Honestly, yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, people were staying home when there was just one angry clown hiding <laughs> in the dark woods two years ago. That's know, true. Ago. That's true. I love how people keep mentioning that, and it's like the year where we were getting attacked by <laughs> clowns is better than this year. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought we'd be able to say that. Yeah. It's so funny to just boil down certain years to like little events that happen. Yeah. Like killer clowns to, hiding in yeah. the dark. Woods. Just the lowest common denominator and then comparing them to each other. It's like, yeah. all right, well, this is the year we had the global pandemic. Is it better than worse or the year that the clowns tried to kill us <laughs> from the shadows? <laughs> uh, 
So not like, it's not really like bingo. What's going to happen this year? <laughs> it truly is. And should we do that for 2021? World bingo? Oh, boy. Just create like a, a, series, a board of like weird events. Well, there was something all set. Yeah, no, like that joke's already been like, I've seen it on Facebook where it's like the newest crazy thing of the year comes out. Like, what was it? Um, what was the last freaking weird thing that happened? Um, Murder Hornets. Murder her when it's that was earlier in the in the 2020 update. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, Come the, on. <laughs> well, there's the Pentagon declassifying that's that like unidentified oh. flying object. Oh and, yeah. And then like nobody cared because they were probably lying. Let's be honest. Yeah, they. Were, I think that's what it was. It was like, well, the Pentagon confirming that there's UFOs out there. Uh, no, didn't have that on my 2020 bingo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my shirt is getting undone. Nice. Ooh, trying to show off some of that chest hair, throwing it back. Ooh, yeah. New 2020 bingo. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter, I mean, there's one more game I wanted to talk about. What's that? Um, it's tell me why, tell me why. Did she come with the match? Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, tell me why is the new, like, uh, oh, he's done. What is Tommy White? It's the uh, new, like, not, not, uh, oh man, I'm forgetting the name of the game. Heavy Rain. No, 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 uh, the, uh, Until Dawn. Nope. I think I'm right. Fuck, why can't I remember? It's just Zoe, I just played these games. Oh, um, Stranger. Stranger Thing. Oh, no, fuck. Stranger, uh, Life, Life is, is strange. strange. Life is Strange. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a new, uh, interactive story S game, like, the. Uh, is it part of that universe? I don't or? think it's part of that universe, no, but... Uh, it's called Tell Me More? Tell Me Why. <laughs> Fuck. Tell Me Why. I just had to play it off as, you know... Mm, as a grease joke. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Oh, I could have sworn it was from the guys who did uh, Heavy Rain and all that. Oh, I'm I'm incorrect. Oh, they're coming out with Super Hot too as well. Mm. Well, actually, what it it's out first of all. Oh. It's it was actually free for everyone who's bought Super Hot one, which oh. is pretty crazy. It was originally a DLC for Super Hot, but then they kind of turned it into like a 1.5 rather than a sequel. Oh, like uh, like a Blood Dragon. Sort of. Mm. Far Cry Blood Dragon type. It's thing. definitely mm. an improvement over the first one, and it's good. I played like uh, half an hour of it. Do but you just fun. do it on your computer? No, on Xbox. Is it, it was even any good, like, on yeah. the controller? I thought that game was meant for VR. Yeah, I've only played it in VR. Well, it originally came out on PC and then consoles, and then they made a VR version of it. I think the VR probably version is, like, superior Oh, I, Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. No doubt about that. 100%. Yeah, no, the VR is uh, mwah, one of the reasons I spend thousands of dollars on that piece of hardware. <laughs> you have a VR thing? No. What? But we, we did in October. Yeah, but, yeah, but you didn't, didn't spend, you didn't spend any. <laughs> anything on that. Yeah, but I still played VR games with it. So what are you, what are you trying, trying to say it? here? So what, what, what thousands what? of dollars I spent? Uh, I, I, I said I would. <laughs> See? Ben, do Don't you know? anger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying it's the one, I was making a joke that one game would make me spend could, oh, could make me spend oh, thousands yeah, of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have phrased that better. Yeah. Hey, didn't say so was like, you didn't spend any money, you well, no, cheap no. bastard. He spent money on his computer, which was the only way we could have played. Yeah, but he already had system. the computer. I still spent money on it. Yeah, that's true. He did specifically spend it to have it ready for VR. Well, that's shit, true. I spend money on gas every time I come to Peter's house. So, obviously the VR headset <laughs> is also mine. <laughs> mine too. I get skipped the dishes at an occasion, so... For you? I, th I think you're have practically pay paying the mortgage on this place. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of skip the dishes. No. No, lots of good stuff coming out. Lots of good stuff. Year. And then, you know what else? Game Pass. You know what Super else awesome. is coming out? Oh, everyone. Cold War confirmed by Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> what a headline. <laughs> Yay! Damn. More Call of Duty, more Black. They found a way to still extend the f series. You know, that is it, uh, Why correct me if I'm wrong, but a Cold War, isn't that supposed to imply that no fighting 
Yeah, well, so, that was the, that was the whole point of the original Black Ops is that it's set during the Cold War. Yeah, and it's like all the espionage and stuff like that that's going on behind the scenes, and like all go. the okay. like coups that the U.S. government staged. So, like, yeah, I don't know what's this going to be. They already hit a lot of the the same notes in the original Black Ops game. And they gotta <laughs> come out with something. They do, and I mean, there's really only so many modern wars that you can, you know, come up with. Yeah. You know, jam your fist into and copy and paste it all what does 2 xp for a year really do for you it gets you double, double xp yeah. yeah i know but why why what do you mean why 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 would you ever need that it's only well you level up a lot faster with double xp yeah but if, you if you don't play that much of the game anyway like i just for yeah, a, a is, year this is, is a very, long time this is explicitly for people who want double XP and are eating a lot of Doritos. <laughs> for yeah, children! It's, it's a chance to win double yeah, XP. Mm. Doritos knows <laughs> they're a target. Arr! They know that people that love Doritos enough to like buy more Doritos for a chance to win something for Call of Duty, play Call of Duty. Oh yeah, double XP for a year would is a ton of XP. It's a ton of XP. I'm just saying that it would take... like, I, yeah, I don't I know. Like you're, you're right. People who play Call of Duty play it for... They play it. They, they play, play it for fucking. They play it until the next one comes out. Pretty much, but like I don't know. That's I, why I it's only that a year. Would, that would, That's uh, actually exactly why it's only a year because the next one will be out by then. Smart. Actually, did that that new the, the newest one? What is that one? Just Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that one come out in November? Like, I don't. Has that remember. one been out for longer than that? I don't. I don't they know. usually come out in November. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it, but I think you're right. It's just been a long Aug time. August. August 2019. Oh, it's already been a year since it came out. Oh. Dang. That game is an assault on my Xbox in terms of updates. Oh, yeah. An assault. It's That's a great brutal. word. Every time I, like, it's like, Call of Duty needs an update. 73 gigs. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. You're like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> what have I done to you, game? <laughs> it was already 95 to begin with. I don't know, like, does it just keep adding on how big it is? Or do you think some of that, like, data coming in is just replacing and deleting old data? I don't know. I hope it replaces almost, and deleted. it. I don't want to look on my Xbox and find Call of Duty's taking up a third of my storage. Yeah, one terabyte. <laughs> Last time I checked, it was 180 gigs with the campaign and stuff. Oh, God. They need room for all those Doritos promotions. <laughs> all that double XP, you know? Yeah. Double the game. It's got to go somewhere. Big brain, everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. On, yep. to on top of the game sphere, there was also uh, something a little little off topic from the rest of this stuff. But uh, Taylor Swift released an album I on saw Thursday that. night. She did. Randomly. Yeah. She, she announced it on Wednesday or on Thursday morning. I've been listening to it. It's pretty freaking good. It's like, it is. It's yeah. like classic Taylor Swift, like back, back like in her early days. Mm. But like still with her new like songwriting abilities and like still like that like a tinge of what her material was like right now like i mm -hmm. i really like her new album I it's, think it's it's pretty fantastic. good actually yeah i think it's pretty solid i have not listened to it i haven't listened to it either but based on that i might might at least check it out either you don't listen to music though i don't yeah. that's true there's but even, i'm curious to see how well how close you can come to the original there's <laughs> even one song and i might get uh flack from matt for it but i think i'm gonna put it on airplane songs it's actually pretty pretty dope <laughs> does matt patrol that playlist I like think, I, don't, I don't know if he patrols it but I mean, like he polices i it. mean i no, he doesn't police it it's kind of like a group policing like i think if like everyone's in a room when they hear a song and they agree like that it shouldn't be on airplane songs it gets booted it's like mm. a democracy. You know? I can't believe I added Moby Dick and then you guys all got into the song without me. Yeah. I was I was a little heartbroken by that. <laughs> well, Peter, we'll just put it on the next time we're all together. And Fair we'll enough. Sing it together. Fair enough. Weird. But, uh, what else is there? Um, I uh, this is off topic, but I had a weird dream the other night. Oh, yeah. okay. I don't like that. Yeah. So it, it 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 goes in depth, like a long time ago. Like I want to say, even maybe a year ago, I had this like vague dream. I barely remember about a girl, and we were like at this place, and like she was she got away. 
right? That was the whole premise She's of the, the one dream. That got away. Yeah. And then last night she reappeared. <laughs> she oh. came back. Oh my god. And dream like, part well, two. Wait, when did you have the first dream? Like a, like months, year, a oh, year okay. ago, like long, long time ago. So but she came back. But she came back, and it was in the dream. And, but in this one, I already had a girlfriend. But and I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but i was like how did my brain connect these two massive like gaps and i like i don't know if i was inspired or like she visits once about, a year about like matt mercer and his long game in the <laughs> current critical role campaign or something but i was like oh my god that's, that's good. wild your brain mercer to you yeah <laughs> you know i had I, wait who are you dating in this dream? I, uh, I don't know he doesn't want to talk about it <laughs> No, it wasn't a, the point. <laughs> I had a dream like that when I was like in, I think, middle school. I had a dream where I like met the one and then she got away as well. Oh, Tragic. It was super weird. Did she come back a year later? No, <laughs> she still hasn't come back. She must have went to Eden's. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely had stuff happen like that before, but I've never had somebody like come back after after a bunch of time oh, man, yeah wild i woke up so like confused and in awe <laughs> and in awe maybe she's trying to communicate with you graden yeah we this look fucking clues. figment of him look for clues she's reaching out we gotta yeah. find her but here's the thing you know people say or scientists i'm assuming there's dream scientists don't fucking quote <laughs> me google that, that. <laughs> it'd be like neurobiologists or shit like that neuroscientists but apparently they say you're brain can't come up with faces in your dreams that you haven't mm-hmm. already seen yeah. so this mystery really? girl she exists somewhere up somewhere. there somewhere in the world that's kind of a weird thing to think about like if that was true then like anytime any artist draws like a face that's like kind of hyper realistic like they should have technically seen that person right quite possibly because if they say you can't come up with that by yourself mm. so i guess maybe then you've reversed google search those images <laughs> <laughs> more not, pictures right? of the painting <laughs> ever, we should like we should try to do that we should like reverse google search pictures of random stuff that s- somewhat looks like a person's face and see what happens i think we should all just draw each other and then put that <laughs> into <laughs> you don't want that it's actually pretty good, pretty good you don't want that i can't draw <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I have an art Instagram, so yeah. uh, yeah. we've uh, we've yeah. reviewed it on this big podcast fan, big before. fan. Yeah, yeah. My what pieces you, go yeah, for when's hundreds. Your next piece going up. Uh, I gotta wait for the inspiration to hit me. I can't just force it out, you know. Hmm. I got three pieces on the back burner actually for the uh, the Call of Cthulhu campaign. I caught, oh. I caught up on it. I, I watched, oh, you watched it? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. Nice. Yeah, it was it was quite enjoyable. I really, I think I had a smile on my face the whole time <laughs> I was watching it. It was just fun. nice. The image of Jared on the boat behind the uh, behind the, pre- the the three people on the boat behind you guys on the boat. Just- <laughs> I didn't when the combat hit. I didn't know what to do with Norm because like I can make him run away, but then somebody here is probably gonna die. Yeah, he's like. I don't mind killing you got your guys' characters, but not during the fucking prologue. Let's <laughs> <laughs> at least start. Yeah. Get an emotional let you get an emotional attachment to your characters before I fuck them up. Right? Exactly. Exactly. I'm excited for Thursday to use my dice for the first time. Mm. My nice metal dice, my nice purple dice. Dice tray. Tray. I should get my dice back from you at some point. Oh, yeah. I should have brought them today, actually. Yeah, whatever. Tisk, tisk, yeah. tisk. I tell you, when we were in that combat and I rolled the, the D100 to see what... Uh, Peter's phobia was going to be. I was not expecting fear of guns. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. There's a lot of people around me that like their guns. <laughs> yeah. I think you're the only person in the party who doesn't carry a gun. That's true. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> go go to bed and like reach into your like on your side and you're like oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Toss it away. So where are we now? Like, uh, so that that happened. We met the inf- the lady. Are yeah. we just still on that island now, or where did we? Go uh, I think we that? assumed yeah. we left the island, and everyone's getting ready to leave. We we bought here. some pack animals. Yeah, we said oh, right, 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 right. The pack animals, and now we're gonna go off. We're gonna yeah go so, to the temple next. So now time. I think it's like Wednesday morning or whatever, and yeah, now you're making your way to the temple. Nice. I'm sure nothing else bad will happen. Nah, surely, totally not. surely not. Surely not. We're gonna go. We're gonna solve the mystery, and we're gonna come back rich. Temple. The temple is where 
most of this should have taken place, but we're going to just... Where like, Imhotep is... Barrel through it. <laughs> Speed run. Can't wait. I'm it's excited good. for it. Yeah. Yeah. Ton of fun. I'm having a ton of fun. Yeah, it has been fun so far. But yeah, I have my images. I drew them on sticky stickies, but I got to draw them in my book now for the, the Discord. And you're going to fill up that fucking notebook. That's my journal. That's how I remember what happened. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I've taken a different approach. Cause I always used to do the same thing. I would write everything down, but I'm using a one note this time. Oh. And to try to like structure it a little bit. It's, it's kind of hard to keep up, to be honest. Welcome to student life. Yeah. yeah I don't know how you would pr properly get down everything you need to remember for the game. I got like a notes tab where I just write everything down and then I separate it into like locations mm -hmm. and NPCs and stuff like that. Important information. Not what a bad they, way. How are they doing on Critical World? Do they just like memorize shit? No, no. Like... They write things. They fill notebooks. Yeah. They are taking a lot of notes during those sessions. Jeez. Or some of them are. Some of them are. I wonder how many cameras are on that setup. Uh, a lot more now. Yeah, it's it's at least like eight now, because everyone gets their individual camera, and then they have one for like the table in front of Matt, mm -hmm. where the maps and stuff are. They probably have a few angles on that, so it might actually be slightly less than normal, or about. Well, actually, because normally they only have to. Yeah, okay, it might be a lot more now mm -hmm. since yeah. They have a top down angle as well. Like on they the playing for they table? they do uh, normally, but now they've uh, rearranged their their um, set so everyone can social distance while they're playing. Mm. So everyone has an individual camera on their table, mm. and they're all a few meters apart from one another. I see. Interesting. Mm -hmm. God, they're really pushing that industry forward. Mm. I remember Did you see Rooster that? Chief tried to do yeah, it. I was just gonna say Rooster Chief just came out with a uh, D and D stuff. Oh yeah, they it, tried it. They're a not. Long, they're not very good. They tried it a couple years ago, didn't they? I'm not sure. Uh, with, here, uh, Griffin was like yeah. heading, was the the DM, I think. Uh, yeah, they had a, some guy who's I can't remember what his name was, but he was the DM, and actually some of it was pretty funny. It was called Heroes and Halfwits. Oh, or Halfwits right. and Heroes. oh, that sounds familiar. It was that. It was actually not bad, but it was kind of like a lot of people who'd never played D and D before fucking around with D and D. Yeah, but it, it, there was some good moments, honestly. And what's this new stuff that they're doing? Then it, it's pretty much the same. I think Gus is the DM, but it, it's like super. It's a super distracted format. Like they all have the access to the chat and they're all reading it while they play. And then like Jack said, I think they're newer players where they're they're joking around more than actually playing through the story. So right. so it's yeah. just memeing the which, entire time. Which is what you can pretty much expect from a group of new D and D players. Yeah. Yeah. Which is it's it's, it's fine. It's, yeah. it is what it is. You're, as long as you're having fun, but it's just harder to watch, I find. Yeah, it well it depends what you're going in looking for, you well, know? Like I mean, we've you and I have been spoiled by Crap. Oh yeah, yeah. There's well, no there's no it's, it's <laughs> that's hard to go back from that. Top tier. Well yeah. When you're having you know, professionals pretty much doing it, you know, like with professional voice acting and everything. Yeah, yeah, like mm -hmm. professional voice actors, professional sets, and like. Mm -hmm. God. It's so good. It's eating the golden apple. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there are some other ones like podcasts and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that that I watch that are still good. And yeah, there's definitely some funny moments from the stuff that Rooster Teeth has done. And he Half Wits and Heroes, or whatever the hell they called it, lasted for a long time. I don't remember it. I watched the first episode, but then, like, I just didn't really get into it or anything. I wonder how many episodes there were. I haven't watched any Rooster Teeth in a long time. Honestly, yeah. I've been slowly kind of purging them from all my stuff. I like, was doing the same. Are they still doing strong? Like, are Insta they slowing? In Instagram, I got rid of them. Like, Twitter, I'm probably going to unfollow them soon. YouTube, I'll unsubscribe. Like, I just don't watch any of their content. None of them, none of it speaks to me anymore. Yeah. yeah. I haven't watched it in years. Neither. I, I, I've been on the same boat as like I go to unsubscribe, but then I see the occasional like animated adventure. It's like, oh, yeah. that's fun. I don't even watch those anymore most of the time. They're like Damn. two minutes, and yeah. so you're usually pretty okay. Yeah. Nine, like all their, pretty much all their videos, except for the animated adventures, get less than 100,000 views now. Yeah. Yikes. But like, check your check YouTube, achievement hunter. It's, it doesn't matter because YouTube is not their main source. No, it's of money. not. They're yeah. like huge into animation. Mm -hmm. They have, they freaking even um, developed the, 
they animated a Transformers series that's coming out on Netflix this month mm-hmm. oh, yeah. at the end of July. Uh, they have Ruby, which has a huge following. Red vs. Blue just had a new trailer for their newest season drop the other day. Like, they have all this. Mer- they have pretty much a, a a like a clothing line that's like full of all these different types of clothing that people buy. Like, they don't need YouTube. But they this don't is. Even need it. But YouTube is their way to get new people into Rooster Teeth Plus, though. So like. Even if this stuff isn't doing good, that's I I feel that's indicative is that they're not changing what their content has always been. You know, I think they've they're no, stagnating I, in no, a I sense. I think they changed their content a lot, and that's why I don't watch it anymore. I think they're I don't think their business model cares about YouTube anymore, Peter. I think they're making too much money on everything else. I don't think they care about growing a you know an online community yeah. any longer. Yeah. Oh, like man. I think that's what Achievement Hunter is more so. But even Achievement Hunter, you know, it's not doing much better than the main Rooster Teeth channel. Same kind of thing. Their views are a little bit well, higher I, on average. I mean, you gotta go to Let's Play. Let's Play is where um, Achievement Hunter puts all their heavy hitting videos now. Is it? Yeah, because they started as like a massive brand, and I'm pretty sure everything <laughs> and every they person just they partnered over. with is gone now. Yeah, it's just no. Them. It was a. It was an, oh, yeah. uh, an assimilation. Oh yeah, these are higher views. Yeah. People that want to watch Achievement Hunter go to Let's Play now. They don't go to Achievement Hunter. Matt, I didn't know that. It's so weird because you like years ago when they were acquiring all those other YouTube channels, like they got the Creatures and they got like Funhouse, and then when the Creatures broke up, they got Cow Chop. Yeah, it's like oh, so weird to think about. It seemed like they were on like on the up and up to create some massive gaming brand, but I think it just all fell apart. I think the I think the bubble has honestly burst with YouTube gaming. I think it burst a long time ago. You just can't. It just isn't really a thing that people care about anymore. Mm -hmm. It's all streaming nowadays. Yeah, streaming's huge now. Like if you already had a pretty good following, you'll do okay on YouTube. But you just can't cultivate and maintain that following anymore. There's way more money in streaming. Oh, absolutely. You can stream for three hours, and if you have a decent fan base, you're making more money than you probably could have off like the same amount of content on YouTube. Like, probably 10 times more. No, oh, easily. Like, Ray, that's why he freaking left Achievement Hunter. He was like, he probably was getting paid, like, decent from Achievement Hunter. But then his streaming, he was probably making, like, Dude. five years worth of his salary. <laughs> and in, like, that was back months. then. Yeah. The, la- was just like, the last it. time I watched one of Ray's streams, I only watched, like, 10, 15 minutes of it. I was just looking at the donations. He made, like, two grand in 15 and, minutes. Like, I've seen his stuff that he streams. It's pretty fucking boring yeah. actually like he's he's not a very good streamer he's, I don't he's think. a grinder he plays a lot of like boring games just to get achievements yeah, that's, yeah i guess that was always his thing yeah but yeah yeah i think he has good mo- I, I think he just appeals to a certain type of like like yeah like game, game or it's that and that he's good at games yeah, yeah he's also totally. good you want to watch people be good at video games. And then, you know, the old the old st- style, like, Rooster Teeth fans who really liked Ray. Yeah. Liked his stuff with the Achievement Hunter guys and want to support him or feel shunned by the community <laughs> now or whatever. Probably really uh, like to be part of that. But, yeah. I don't know. It's weird to see all these OG YouTubers, like, especially in the gaming sphere, how they've evolved and, like, changed throughout the years. Man, you, you have, have to. Never guess this is where like the gaming space would be like back when we were in high school. It just seemed like YouTube would just go on forever and mm-hmm. like it never would end. But yeah, it's, it's YouTube as a general. Like the fact that channels like Filthy Frank existed and thrived on YouTube, that 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 doesn't fly today. You can't oh, do what that the fuck stuff. Is a filthy Frank. You never watched any I've Filthy never Frank watched videos. Any filthy Frank. Ne- oh, you should give it a. You should. I'm that, gonna go look it up. That's right a now. rabbit hole. That, that you is oh. a rabbit hole. Yeah, but you're totally right. Like I remember when I first like started learning about Twitch. Is like, okay, so it's a streaming service, or like you can stream yourself playing games. It's not going to take off. Then Twitch plays Pokemon happened. Right. There's a mass exodus towards the service, and yeah. a lot of people start using. And Twitch plays Pokemon. I still think is very interesting, mm. like conceptually, and it's really cool that something like that could have happened. Oh, uh, no matter. But seen this I. Now probably never would have started using twitch if i hadn't like become familiar with the platform through twitch plays pokemon yeah it was pretty uh like foreign for the, at the time yeah 
Man, Twitch Plays Pokemon was huge. I kind of forgot about it. The channel still exists, and I think it's always, it's like constantly running something. Really? See, people are keep saying like they're waiting for like the next YouTube. Like, like Spotify is apparently coming out with a video service sometime soon. And like people are hoping for competition because it'll force YouTube to have to do things that they don't want to do. No, they'll have to force them to do things. Yeah, which will, which will make it better for the content. But like, if you're Spotify and you see how a simple video platform works, like YouTube, and how well streaming services are doing, you think you'd like take a risk and do something like different. Like, I don't know what that is yet. Like, who knows what the hell that would be? But there's, there's clearly more ways you can do it than just editing a video and pu publishing it versus streaming content. Like, there's got to be other ways of delivering content out there and i think like there's companies out there that are working on that right now in the next 10 years we're gonna just be getting delivered content from content creators in such weird ways like even tiktok like tiktok's a massive platform that like delivers videos in a different way than youtube ever could yeah but like you don't see it's not close enough to youtube where like youtube sees it as like a competitor that's well raining from them I don't know. I bet they do, but there's two different that there's nothing they can really do to try to compete with them. Yeah. Mm. Which I think if you're going to come out with a video service, that's what you need to do. You need to just make it unique so that like no one can really come after you for it. In this day and age, yeah. Amazon video. Amazon video is trash. It <laughs> is. Get a better UI, please. Actually, I'm pissed. I was trying to watch this. Uh, there's this new movie that came out early in the month with Andy Samberg and the girl um, from uh, How I Met Your Mother. Uh, the mother. One? Oh, yeah. Uh, they, I forget what her name is, but... I don't know. It's, it's, it's called Palm Springs, and it's pretty much... Uh, it's, it's part of the, uh, the Groundhog Day expanded universe, so it's just... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> weird it's a movie it's a movie that just like they live the same day over and over again but uh i hear it's really good and i tried to watch it last night but it's freaking locked behind hulu and we just don't we can't get oh hulu yeah i've heard, I've heard that and i did everything i got nord vpn a free trial i oh put the vpn to the u.s i signed up for hulu free trial and i tried to put in but i got stopped there because my paypal and my credit card are both linked to canada and it just wouldn't have me wouldn't let me do it so. that's a lot of work to watch a movie yeah. i was like i really why don't you just try to it? stream it or up. something well you can't really find it anywhere i don't i haven't i don't know but and i wanted to watch it on the tv fair so enough i didn't want to go through the internet browser there because that's why don't you just like shit? plug your computer into the tv because that's also shit. Uh, that's HDMI to HDMI. It's nothing. Yeah, but for some reason, when I do that, it never transfers the sound. No. Uh, what? Is, yeah, I don't know. When I plug my MacBook into my TV, it doesn't transfer the sound. It never has. Weird. How, it, that's in your Mac settings. I bet you any money that's in your sound settings. Well. Because I, when I had a Mac, I had the same issue for a long time until I looked into the settings. Maybe that's what uh, my problem is. You're just, the, bitch. you're just the smartest guy, aren't you, Peter? Why don't you put that big brain of yours to work and um, come up with our next Invent topic a cure. for a podcast? Do you want to know the next to topic for our podcast? Yeah. It's the outro. Oh. Son of a bitch. See, I, I, wanted to make the, uh, I wanted to make a good segue to be like, and uh, give us an outro, but like I didn't know what we were asking. <laughs> I was going to see if you are going to assume. I didn't want to end it early. <laughs> no, we were like pretty much right on time. Okay, perfect. Well, hey, guys, if you want double XP from Doritos, <laughs> you're going to have to eat a lot of fucking Doritos. Yeah. Uh, we can't give you anything except our love and support. Mm. And we do love you very, very much. Thank you for joining us for the LC podcast. We stream a bunch of days a week. I, the, the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Sunday. Yay. And be sure to come by Thursday for our fourth session for Ooh. Call of Cthulhu. Number four. Yeah. All four of us are going to be there. And Probably. shit's going down. Yep. Shit's In Peru. Up. We're climbing a mountain. It's true. Climbing, you're, Pyramid. Yeah, you are. All right. Bye, everyone. See you.